California Chrome is a unique horse in that he was so popular and that he started out when he was two years old, very early, first start in April, won his second start in May, and raced seven times as a two-year-old and won three different stakes. So I think he's best set up for his yearling sales because a lot of end users that want to race are on the track. So I think Chrome is throwing good, nice horses, but he's throwing different types. It's not, it's not like cookie cutter that where you say, oh, that's a Chrome, that's a Chrome, that's a Chrome. But I think he, he is getting good looking horses and I think that the yearling buyers will w really be wanting to, to buy and I think they'll be happy with what they see. You know, the horse could run on dirt and turf when grade one's on both. You know, I think his whole body of, of racing, he was just one of those horses, push button, you know. He didn't have to have a certain trip. I mean, he, he could go short, he could go long. He had two or three moves in the same race. If you could ever reproduce him, whoever owns is gonna have a lot of fun. Taylor Made has had, in the last 15 years, has stood two of North America's leading sires in St. Bellotto and Unbridled Song. And neither one of them even pale in comparison to the popularity of the general public. So I've really enjoyed it. I think, you know, you see people enjoying the horse business and we get to share with people. Beautiful farm, the setting, and, a, and a, just a race horse that just captured the imagination. I wish we had one of those coming into stud every year because I think it, it helps the, the thoroughbred industry. I think with horse country, the 35 farms that have gone together and opened up our doors to let people tour. California Chrome hit at the perfect time to where we were actually set up for that. We could accommodate people with our gift shop and our bar and grill and stuff. So we, we've really enjoyed it. You always hear owners say, why did you get into the horse business? They'll say, my granddad or my grandmother took me to the track every Saturday or something. So hopefully we'll be hearing stories 20 years from now. My parents uh, took me to horse country and I got to see California Chrome uh, and, and all the good horses in Kentucky and that, uh, that captured, that's why I wanted to get in the business. So that's, that's the long-term plan.